So what is Java tool options? Uh, imagine a case that where you want to pass a, 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 a variable to your application, uh, indicating a kind of a profile. And from that word, you can collect a set of configurations, for instance, from a database table. So when your application starts, it reads these configurations and, um, and you use them to configure, for instance, uh, access to specific uh, folders or other servers and, and so on. Uh, in, the, in these cases, usually you want to do something like Java, pass a JVM um, variable because it will be accessible, as you know, in all your application. Uh, if you use a application parameter, it, you will need a main application. If it's not the case, you just want to use a JVM variable. In this case, I'll just write something like profile let's say basic user something like that and you want to write something like uh, another or machine parameters just uh, it is just our example and we want to execute something like this of course we first need to uh, create a little bit of code so we can display this uh, variable so system out and and we want to print property, environment property, that will be called profile, just so we can display the, the, the output. Okay. Just compile the class, machine parameter, and when we execute this class, we just have null as expected because we are not uh, giving any uh, JVM. Uh, variable. So um, let's give one profile basic user, for instance, and our machine parameters. And as expected, we can print the basic user. Imagine that we want the same thing for another application that is being executed in our server. Imagine this is a server, a web application server, or these applications just, just, just they, they have a lot of threading and we want to execute all of them on the same server. And we have another application that will be very similar to this one for our example, of course. In the real world, probably it will be a different application with a different site or a different server. And uh, we will write the same thing, system out println and system get property. And we want the same thing, which is the profile. And we we do the same thing, Java compiler. Now it's the another application Java. Of course, when we execute the another application, it's null. Uh, it's the null ex as expected. Uh, display it, unless of course we pass the parameter, and we execute another application, and the basic user display. Now, uh, returning to these Java tool options, the Java tool options, it's a way to create an environment variable that implicitly what we are writing here will be uh, in the environment variables of your system, which means that uh, every application that will be executed in the, in the, in the server where this uh, environment variable is visible, um, the J J J Java virtual machine, when it's starting, it will, uh, try to find or search for this variable. And if it exists, it will apply all the parameters that are defined there, and they will be inserted for our applications. Uh, meaning, let's run again, machine without nothing, null as expected, Java, another machine, null as expected. Now let's create this variable, export Java tool options, and we will create this parameter profile equal basic user and we have this uh, environment variable now when we execute these applications you will see that the uh, jvm display saying okay i pick up these java tool options and it displays as expected our profile and the same will apply to the other to the another uh, example in this case it's the same 
every application that will be executed in the same server will collect this uh, this this environment variable. This is very useful. I, I have used it a lot in the past, even in Kubernetes applications, web server applications, uh, when you have several applications uh, in the same server and want to apply a global configuration to all of them. It's a very good thing if you are trying to debug or uh, you want to pass a profile like, like, like this example or uh, an encoding, for instance, and you want to share all these um, all the, uh, the same value for all the applications without trying to recompile or change uh, change the, the the command line because sometimes you don't have access to the command line directly. Imagine if you are if you are on the Kubernetes world and you are creating a Docker container, probably uh, this is already written on the on the Docker file and you don't want to rebuild the Docker image. You just want to when it is executes this environment variable be visible to to your application. I think it's a very uh, very useful tool that we have in Java. There are others, maybe in, uh, in another uh, videos, I will talk about them. I hope it, it can be useful to you too. Thank you.